Hi, today we're going to show you how to install a V8 block in the Comex Auto 1000. The same instructions would also be used on the Comex Auto 1330. Both would be the same. This is the standard tooling that comes with the machine. You can use the round bar that goes through the cams or the square bar which goes over the two side of where your intake manifold rides. Also, we will be using the standard block hold down fixture. You may also use the jack screws. All of this information we'll be going over on today's video is located in the operator's manual. Now we're going to show you how to start changing the machine over from a cylinder head to do the V8 block. The first thing that must be done is remove the plate. The plate is held on by two bolts. We will take out the two bolts and that is the first step in the procedure. Number one, lock one of the two head stanchions. That securely holds, holds everything in place. Now you are free to use two hands This is the advantage of the Comex Auto 1000 and the 1330 to save you a lot of money and do a better precise job. This bar is two inch in size. All of your BHJ tooling is completely adaptable. These rings that come standard also, this is small block Chevy, 400 Chevy, and big block Chevy. So it comes with three sets of rings. The next step we will do is loosen up the plate again, the bar, and we will turn the flat side up. When doing a block, you must always hit on two points. That gives you proper alignment. Now we're going to start installing all the standard tooling needed to do a V8 block. The first step is to install the two jack screw extensions that come standard. There is one goes on each end. All you must slide the pin in on each side. For now, just let them hang. Also, install the block leveling fixture in the machine. Comac made it very easy for us by putting the four center tooling insulation places. We will also use this hold down that comes standard in the Chevrolet block. Hi. Now we will show you how to put a block into the machine and also how to level it. We will be demonstrating with a small block Chevy, one of the most popular blocks. The first thing to do before you put it in the machine is put the round bar through your cam holes. That is very important. If you try to do it afterwards, it will not fit. Also, have your leveling fixture installed in the ways and have two head bolts ready. That way, once you install the block, you can secure it so it cannot go anywhere for a level. We will tighten the, the, the block down with your round adjusters. Use the threaded rod that comes standard. Tighten down both sides securely. 
That way you are sandwiching the block from the mains through the cam hole securely. Use your adjusting level and, and adjust it front to back level. Turn the level side to side and it should be right in place because we are going through the mains. If it is not exactly level, you could shim right here to get it exactly level. Once everything is level, tighten everything up and you are ready to resurface. I've seen you guys thinking in the background, how would we hold down a late model overhead cam engine that does not have a cam hole? Comec has you covered. What you would do is use the two pieces of long threaded rod that come standard. You would unscrew the other hold down. Install the long threaded rod in both ends. Then you would use the square bar that comes standard and secure it over the intake manifold surface. Tighten up. You're then ready to do all your overhead cam blocks. Thank you. We are now ready to resurface. Bring down the power column. Use the touch off indicator and touch off. Dial in the, the amount you want. Turn on the machine and we are ready to resurface. When you are finished resurfacing, Power column up. Remove the, then you're ready to remove the block. I like to remove it through the cam first, that way it is still secure, and then your front leveling pads. Take the block out and collect your money. Good.